Welcome back, K-Squad, to another episode of Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. This is AJ, and for this episode, we're going to be doing... Uh, we're going to be going a little bit off the beaten path here, and I'm going to be doing more of an explanation tutorial on how to get your crafting and everything going. I decided to give in and start doing that kind of stuff. And so, we're here at Welch's Laboratory, which I went to a couple episodes ago. And she taught us how to... well, she had us do a quest. And I thought we'd be able to start doing creations, but we cannot. Well, my dumbass forgot that she gave us the specialty to do that. So I can go into here and I can actually turn on compounding. And then from there I can go out and I can actually start doing my first set of creations from there. So there we go. That's how it unlocks the creation thing. Well, also, in addition to this, is... Once you go back in here, she offers you another quest. She'll unlock more more items for us to do. Let me go through her psychotic stuff some more. I did do this one time. Like, just this one quest. And then I was like, oh, I should probably back up and record this because this would definitely be helpful. You'll be the perfect guinea pig. Um, food critic. Here, try this delicious juice recipe I've concocted. Don't be shy. It's got the Welch seal of approval, which is the best in the business. See the label? Go on now, down the hatch with it. Anyone else find it kind of funny? Welch, and then like, fruit juice, like, Welch's. Right, never mind. That's strange. It was downright ambrosial when I made it with fruit. Maybe there's a problem in the recipe? That has to be it. Hey, you there. You with all the frills. Congratulations! You're my second assistant. As your first duty, you can improve this juice recipe. <laughs> so they just gave us a quest there, and... I mean, I'm so far into the game, I should have all the items already. So, yeah, I need a lemon and spring water. And I'll show you guys where to actually buy the spring water at. So, that gives us this, but then if you try to talk to her again, nothing happens. Well, hold on, sorry. What's this, assistant number two? Your improved recipe? And you even brought me the ingredients? I knew I could count on you. Let me mix it right up. and full body a recipe like this only comes around once every millennium i knew i was right to entrust the home body with a homey task but don't think it's because i can't do stuff like that no siri here assistant number one i made another go at this whole juice thing you'll love it this time i guarantee something left over from an earlier experiment. Okay, we got our cooking specialty now, and fishing specialty. Pardon me. So, I can't, like, really talk to her right now. So what I have to do is I have to actually go into here, go up to the skills, unlock these skills. Fishing, cooking. Alright, but I still can't talk to her. So to refresh this, you just walk out the door and walk back in, and she'll give you the next quest in the series, which I did not realize earlier until I happened to stumble across her. It's, you know, I'm headed back to, um, I was trying to progress the story, and I decided to just stop in here and see what was going on, and that's what she gave us. Assistant 
assistant number one. Impeccable timing, as always. I need your professional opinion regarding a new field of research in which I've begun to dabble. It's something we simply can't do without in this age of the corrupt. I just love how like terrified Fidel looks. <laughs> Precure, evil doers in chaos. What's that saying? Axes speak louder than words. When faced with a deadly enemy, you need to make equally deadly weapons and armor. I want to give people the ability to do that in their homes. Comprende? And the fact that you're a master swordsman is written indelibly all over your face. It reads, I can swing a sword with the best of them. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have it written all over your face if you weren't a man who knows his way around a blade, right? So you'll do it for me? Same thing again. I should have everything I need. And good to go. And then same thing as earlier. I don't know if she talks to me again or not. Let's see. Yeah. Thanks. Some tasks are best left to professionals. If you want to know about weapons, ask a warrior. I'd ask myself, but I don't know a thing about fighting. Wait a second. Don't think you're the only one who has weapons because I'm full of them. I've got She's smarts psycho. Look at her. looks to die for and charm that'd melt your heart. In other words, if you and I work together, there's nothing we can't make. We'll be omnipotent. We'll have nothing to fear but fear itself. Exactly. So fast, mister. Don't let that go to your head. You may be assistant number one, but you're still just an assistant. Remember that. Cool. Alright, so smithing and excavation. hasn't been producing the expected results. It's been several months since I've been able to pay the rent on this place. My landlord is a scary man, and I know he'll demand his money no matter what I have to do to earn it. He's got mountains for muscles and his head shaven clean, meaning, you know what, terrifying, right? I'm ready to close this lab. But there's one last bit of research I want to complete first. I'm talking about a technology that not even researchers in Santorol have completed. I've got a perfect hypothesis that I think will allow me to succeed where they have failed. All I need is a catalyst and I'll be able to run an experiment to demonstrate my hypothesis. I'm counting on you to help my lab's last ever experiment, Assistant Number One. If this succeeds, it could change the world. If that happens, money will be so insignificant you won't be able to view it with a cygniscope. Okay, let's see if I have these items already or not. I can't remember if I picked them up or not yet. Two-headed corrupt corrupts ashes and discarded silver spoon. So let's go get those. Pretty sure I know where they're at. I don't know why I just don't give her some money. It's not like I, you know, two hundred fifty-five thousand. Is 
if you were looking for the spring water for one of those earlier quests, it would be here, along with the lemon. There's the spring water. So we head back out to the Resilient Plains, which then we go down to the footpath. So a little run, but kind of an annoying run because we have to run like around, up, up and around over here. So we're going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and skip to that part, okay? Okay, so we just went ahead and jumped forward here to the footpath. So all of both of the those items should be in this footpath area. And the reasoning why I know that is because I was reading about the crafting online. Items right here. This unique looking rock guy was not here when we ran by earlier, but he is there now. As he gives one of the items. There it is. Discarded silver spoon. And the other item should be see that like little mushroom looking thing? The top left. Should be up there, I think. We'll see. Go ahead and just run there. If you notice, my mini map has more items on it now. That's because I actually decided to do something other than follow the main story. <laughs> so don't get caught up on like I mean like I've done I've recorded 30 episodes of this game so far, but that's just because I've been so interested in the story and wanting to find out what happens. That this game has quite a bit of side quests involved in it as well. I haven't I haven't done hardly any at all. I see that chest. I still don't know how to unlock them, but I'm hoping that eventually I'll be able to maybe like craft keys or something. This is one of my number one reasons why I wanted to start doing the crafting was because I, I don't know how else to unlock those chests. It's kind of pissing me off. I want to be able to open them. Alright, well we have to jump back up to where Welch is at, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to that now. Okay, we're here back in my dock now, headed up to Welch's lab. X-Lab. Hopefully not X-Lab. We'll see though.
And I can start alchemy now. Excellent. Thank you, assistant number one. With this, I can finally complete my experiment. Yes, I've done it! I've proved the existence of alchemy! <laughs> huh? Did I scare you or something? Sorry about that. Wait, hear me out. I swear on my life, I'm not lying. I raised a lot of money by claiming that I would make alchemy viable, but it didn't last. My research was really difficult, though. That part's the God's honest truth. At any rate, you saved my lab when I needed you the most. There's nothing like a skilled assistant when you're in a pinch. Yep, yep. And now I can use my new alchemical technique to make mountains of gold. <laughs> Okay, so now I have alchemy. Who? Mountains of gold. That seems to be it, so there we are. That's it for this episode. We went ahead and shown all the way through to be able to... I don't know what these are. Synthesis and augmentation. Have to figure those out later. I don't know. But, yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope this, like, little, like, the 31st episode of this series was kind of like, you know, an explanation kind of tutorial thing. And, um, <laughs> to show crafting. I should have done it earlier in the series. I'm not going to lie. Maybe like 13 hours ago, but I got really deep into the story, so don't blame me too much. So, Alright, well thank you all for watching, and until next time, squad, later.